Camden do right now is he's going to hit a couple of balls and try to hit a line drive right up the middle, right at the pitcher. Do you understand? Yes. All right, nice and easy. Go ahead. Perfect. Do it again. Very nice. Do it again. Perfect. One more time. Excellent. Now, Camden, stay right here. Give me your bat. And you're going to use the sledge bat for the first time. Now, don't swing it. What Camden just did was hit four consecutive line drives perfectly right up the middle. However, he used 10 inches of the barrel to do it. What I'm going to teach him how to do and what you're going to see is whether or not he can do it with just one quarter of a square inch. All right, get lined up exactly where you want. Go ahead. That ball just dribbled over there, didn't it? Wait, go ahead. Not bad, line drive over the second baseman's head. Up, oh, missed it again. Take your time, nice and easy. Oh. Once again, you squirted one over there. One more time. All right, now what you've just noticed is a little boy, and this is gonna be what happens to every little boy or girl that learns how to use a sledge bat. They're gonna go from using this much of the bat to only hitting right there. So they can miss all the way over here and hit a line drive, and they can miss all the way over here and hit a line drive, but with a sledge bat, you have to hit it absolutely perfect. And this is what sledge bats teaches you. When he learns how to do this through repetition, every time he swings, he will be hitting the ball right in this point. And that's the goal. You want to be a great hitter, you have to have great contact. Thank you, Camden. Good job. So now we're going to do lesson number two. Camden, I want you to take your normal swing with your bat. Wait till I say you're ready. Stand exactly where you would in the game. And I, you see that blue bag out there? Yes. I want you to pretend that's the second base bag. I want you to hit the ball straight at the second base bag. Go ahead. Again. Not bad. Again. Perfect. Look at that. Take your time. Take your time. Very nice. One more. All right. Very nice. So Camden, I want you to try to hit a line drive right up the middle. Now what Camden's going to find out for the first time is your point of contact is really small with the sledge bat. So it's going to be hard for you to do it. So the results you're going to see here are going to be very typical of a child learning how to hit with a sledge bat for the first time. These are good things because as you swing it more and more, you're going to get better and better at hitting perfect line drives. Okay, Camden, I want you to take your time and I want you to hit a line drive right up the middle. Go. All right, so stop for a second. So what seems to be the problem? What happened? Did you miss the ball? That means you're too far away from the ball. So scoot up just a little bit. Okay. Okay, not bad. Keep both hands on the bat. Relax. Don't have to swing so hard. All right. Now, the ball's squirting off towards the second baseman. That means you're pulling off the ball. And I know that doesn't mean a lot to you, but that means when you're swinging, you're going like this. I don't want you to do that. Keep your shoulder in. All right. And swing. Not until I'm ready. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Come a little bit closer. Good, right up the middle, all right? One more time. Excellent, just a couple more, all right? You're doing good, you're doing very good. Perfect, all right? One more. Perfect line drive. Give me a high five. Camden, that was absolutely perfect. Now this is why you wanna learn how to train with a sledge bat. We are our
Sledge Bats!